Ah, uh, Halloween is coming up, guys. Are you guys excited about wearing your costumes, going going out, trick or treating, scaring the freak out of your friends? Well, I sure am. Today, I'm going to be scaring my friends by scaring my fans by talking about the top five scary Pokemon theories. And why is that? Because, I don't know. I mean, you gotta think, it's Halloween, and since everyone likes Pokemon, I mean, I, I guess it's alright to talk about some Pokemon on my channel, alright? So, without further ado, guys, sit back, eat a bowl of your Reese's before a anyone knocks on your door, because you're gonna be, you're gonna be gonna be giving out a lot of candy. Let's get started. Up number five. Ash's coma theory. Now, I'm not the only reason why I made this number five is only because like this theory is kind of old and lame now. No one really cares about it. That's why I just had to make it at number five. But you know, you guys should know about the Ash Coma theory, so I'm number four. Cloister is actually ghastly when he dies. Now, when Cloister dies, since it has an amazing defense on its shell, it wants to keep its life and it forms ghastly. Now that it explains why the face of it looks exactly alike. Now, if you look at Cloyster and look at Ghastly, you can see that their faces look really alike. And how Ghastly knows Lick is because of Cloyster's first evolution, due to it st sticking its tongue out all the time. That's how it knows Lick. Now, this is a really interesting theory that I I just love it because like it's so much creativity, and I understand why. But yeah, this is up number four. Up number three. Now, I don't know whether to call this creepy or not, but Rotom looks exactly like Shumpy. You know Rotom, the Pokemon that can able to turn into so many furniture Pokemon? Well, what's really interesting about this is that if you give Rotom the Reaper Cloth, it turns into Shumpy. Now, I don't know much about this, but let's just move on. Up number three, I think. Bayonet, I think this is what the Pokemon name I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's been a while since I watched Pokemon, but anyways... What Bayonet usually was supposed to be was it, was it didn't start out as a Pokemon, it started out as a doll, but one day its owner left it. So pretty much what Bayonet is supposed to do is go around in the world and finding his owner to curse him for abandoning him for so long. Now, this is a pretty touching uh, theory in my opinion, because it's kind of messed up, I mean, but still, that's pretty much what Bayonet was supposed to do. He's supposed to find its owner and curse it for what it's did to him, like, abandon him. It's kind of sad, but let's just move on. I'm number two. Now, this was going to kind of be a top six, but the reason why I put Hunter and Ghastly in number two is because, I mean, they are kind of the same thing. It's just that one's uh, evolution lower than the other. But anyways... What's interesting about this and kind of creeps us out is that if you look closely at Haunter and Voltorb, they look exactly alike. Look at their eyes. They look so alike with them pointing down. Not to mention Clefairy looks exactly like Haunt, like, oh my gosh, freaking Haunt, yes, Haunter, dang, I, I'm sorry. But anyways, um, what's interesting about this is that Clefairy Shadow is actually supposed to be Haunter. So yeah, Clefairy Shadow is pretty much Haunter. And up number one, oh my gosh, I can't wait to pronounce this theory out. I'm gonna creep you guys out real good. And up number one, Hypno. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Diamond, why Hypno? Look at him. I mean, Diamond, have you seen the episode where he rest, where he was helping those children go to sleep? Well, how about now? Now, Hypno is by far one of the most creepiest Pokemon and that he's so creepy that he's an actual creepy pasta or you know a poke pasta or you know they're, they're, it's the same thing just but anyways whatever let's, let's let's not talk more to this I'm gonna tell you guys why he's this creepy so what he does is that he wants to lure children in a cave to play with them just, just to play, not like, not like any torturing thing, just to play with him. And I know what you guys are thinking. Diamond, oh my gosh, that doesn't even sound that bad. Oh, wait, let me finish, let me freaking finish. But, when the kids want to go home, Hypno refuses. And guess what happens when he refuses? He puts the children into a deep trance, into a sleep. And then he says... Now you will stay with me forever and eats them. Now I'm not lying. The eating part, he actually eats little children. Yes, yes. At least that—that's what I heard. I—I I, I don't know, but 
but yes, the other parts about it is actually true, is that Hypno pretty much just kidnaps children forever. They can't return to their parents. Now, there's even a Hypno Lullaby, which I will put in the link in the description because I don't want to, you know, review the song because, you know, I kind of want to avoid some copyright strikes. But, you know, it's really interesting about this theory. And how he puts them to sleep is that pendant right there. And pretty much if you watch the whole... If you listen to the Hypno's Lullaby, you will find out more about this creepy theory. I love this theory. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, it's an amazing theory that I, I just love. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for my top five creepy Pokemon. It, it's, been a, it's been pretty fun making this video, actually. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really stutter much in my video at all, and it was pretty spot on. I hope you guys will enjoy this video after I upload it. I hope so. I mean, I... I think I did a pretty good jo job on it. But yeah, guys, that is basically it for the Hypnos Theory. If you guys like what you see here, and if you want to do more, please hit that like button. I very much appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all later.